Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, and feel free to comment down below what you would like me to do for future anime and cartoon related videos. Today, we are talking about Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1, Episode 10. And it's a pretty interesting episode. Um, not my favorite overall, but definitely an interesting episode. Uh, learned a little bit more um, about Mr. Frankenstein, Cursed Dude and some of his abilities, what he, he can actually do, what his ideas are. Uh, and apparently he is under the impression that he can touch the human soul. That is right. Apparently the soul comes first, body forms around it, and then it, the body just kind of gets dragged along for the ride, according to him, anyway. Uh, but he has the ability to manipulate souls, as he calls it. And so he can take the souls of people, turn their bodies into whatever he wants, and whatever shapes, random miscellaneous sizes, he can make them extremely small or extremely large. He's tried super small, he's tried super large, um, and he just likes killing people because that he's a little sadistic monster <laughs> is what it is. Um, but he, he apparently he also has the ability to hold on to Jujutsu Sorcerers, and he has several. So when he does it to a normal person, they die fairly quickly. However, when he does it to a Jujutsu Sorcerer, basically they just suffer. Their body is dismorphed to crap because they have connections with cursed energy, and it forces them to be alive as kind of a defense mechanism, in a way, and he is able to hold on to them for longer periods of time. We're not sure exactly how much longer, but we'll just say indefinitely until he uses them again to shape their body into something else and move along. Um, so meanwhile, the other uh, professor with the blonde hair and the glasses, uh, he is fighting this guy. In this episode, um, he's using his knife. I'm surprised he didn't unwrap it. He never unwrapped it. You would think he would unwrap it because this is definitely a, a higher foe. We learned that he is a grade one. Uh, basically, how the grades work is, if you are grade one, uh, you can almost kill a special grade, but not quite. So that means um, Itadori, uh, he considers himself oh, maybe able to defeat a grade two. So he is probably classified as a grade three at this point in time. Uh, so he's got a lot to grow still. We didn't really see him fighting. Basically, what happened with him in the episode, him and... Um, the other member who can see the spirits but can't actually fight them, uh, they went after Yoshino, uh, which is the kid that got bullied. We get to see more of that, you know, his backstory in this episode. Um, they went after him because they wanted to see if he was the one that killed those three uh, kids in school. Um, so he ends up running into a teacher at one point in time after the whole soul talk, uh, this big chunker dude. And he was like, oh, why don't you go to the funerals of your friends? And he was like, you really didn't realize I hated them? Like, how could you not see, see that, comprehend that? And I think he was bestowed powers at some point because he, like, was doing this like he was about to blast somebody with a spirit gun <laughs> or something uh, until Itadori kind of jumped in because they lost their lower than grade floor, what do they call it, like a pinhead or penhead or something? So this itty-bitty curse... Uh, basically harmless to everybody, uh, can push people around a little bit, but Itadori can handle it no problem. Uh, the premise was, okay, if he doesn't see it, you know, whatever, go save, him, go save him. If he sees it and he can't do anything about it, go save him. If he sees it and he kills it, uh, we need to capture him and bring him in because there is a good possibility that he killed those students uh, and he needs to go to jail and face punishment, etc., for the foreseeable future. Um, although none of that really happened, and Itadori basically ends up just walking and talking with him. So he could he didn't end up killing anybody. So he is good to go for the foreseeable future. But he is like massively traumatized, obviously, because he has been bullied massively throughout his years. Um, I'm assuming it wasn't just a high school thing. So he is kind of desensitized to everything at this point, so dead people don't bother him. He said, I mean, if it was my mother, I'd probably hate you. But because it wasn't <clears throat> those people I don't like, um, I don't really care. And the uh, Frankenstein curse spirit, he is basically tricking him into seeking revenge. He said, I'm going to basically take you under my wing, show you how to use your abilities, I'm guessing. And he is going to be a foreseeable threat in the future. Uh, at least that is my guess. I'm guessing this curse may have the ability to grant normal people powers. 
I don't know if that's true or not, but I mean, I, you see the way he manipulates body, so it honestly wouldn't surprise me. Um, but it is kind of sad, though, because you see one of his giant, you know, soul creation things, like crying. Guy wipes away the tear, the uh, yellow-haired professor there wipes away the tear, and I don't know why he doesn't kill it immediately. But what we learned from the autopsy woman, uh, she basically says you're better off just killing them immediately. There is no way to save them or put them back. The only one that, that would be able to put them back to a certain extent is the cursed spirit. And I don't think he can even do it. Because we've never seen him actually turn someone back into a normal human being. Uh, most of the time it's just some sort of crazy giant blob. Um, either a, a big giant blob or a tiny itty bitty blob. You know, like this, like something that looks like a piece of beef jerky, basically. I hate to say it. A piece of beef jerky with a with a kind of a face on it. There's like two eye holes and a mouth hole. That's all you can really see. But at the end of this episode, he wraps his tie around his fist. Uh, we actually get to see some of his cursed energy come out because I don't think he's been using it at all up until this point. And he is probably going to beat the crap out of this guy or close to it. Um, I feel like one of them is probably going to have to die. Uh, that is my guess. I'm not exactly sure which one. There was also a cute little short at the end about people stealing uh, her skirt. Oh my god, I'm forgetting her name. Is it Fugiro? I don't know my laptop's charging in the background, so I don't have it in me for all of my characters. Oh no. Um, but basically, Panda steals it. Uh, and then one of Panda's classmates steals it, and then <laughs> Gojo steals it. And I was like, yeah, she ain't gonna be able to beat up Gojo, <laughs> sorry. That ain't, that ain't gonna happen. She's gonna try to deck him in the face with her hammer, and absolutely nothing's going to happen. Um, I'm kind of, not massively disappointed, but a little bit disappointed. We didn't get to see the other characters training more, uh, besides kind of like, they did basically did an honorable mention is the best way to describe it. They showed him in the episode for a couple of seconds um, when Itadori asked about that. But I thought we were getting into like an exchange of school arc and it seems like we're not, like that's not going to happen anytime soon. I don't know if we're still going to get it this season because I think we're getting 24 episodes if I remember correctly looking at the episode guys. So it is going to be a longer season. I don't know if they plan on splitting it in two pieces like they're doing with uh, Ray Zero, which I'm looking forward to that coming back in about a month or so. Along with Dr. Stone in Promise Neverland Season 2. Those are those are going to be the three that I'm going to be reviewing if you're curious for uh, future updates on that. But it'll be kind of, it would be kind of nice to see that whole exchange, you know. Instead, you know, they were talking about it, and then I feel like they kind of went into a uh, opposite direction, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, uh, because... Uh, I feel like this is kind of like a similar League of Villains, League of Curses type thing, whatever you want to call it, you know, My Hero Academia reference there, but it's definitely going to be important. I feel like all the main villains are going to be in that group, so we're going to have to see a lot of them, you know, care about their character development and how they grow as well. We're going to have to look at it from both sides, uh, very sim kind of giving me that kind of My Hero Academia vibe where we're going to see, you know, like um, the... Uh, League of Villains, and then all of the heroes kind of growing, getting more powerful as they get older. I think it's going to be kind of the same premise here uh, with this. Overall, this episode wasn't too bad. I'll give it like a 7 out of 10. Definitely not one of the stronger episodes. Uh, felt kind of like one of the weaker episodes. Felt like we've actually been kind of declining a little bit after um, everybody thought Itadori was dead. They got in that huge fight with the crazy, weird fingers cursed dude. Uh, I see. It does seem like I feel like the episodes have been going a, downhill a little bit, and it actually even showed in the uh, the weekly kind of top fifteen rank that I see on the, our anime Reddit all the time, uh, where it actually got bumped down from number one to number eight this week. So I, I, I think fans are getting not. I'm not going to say bored with it because it's still a good show. It's still enjoyable, uh, but y you reach a certain point and you expect it to kind of keep going. You know, higher, higher, and higher, higher, but it is it's, it is inevitably you're going to get low points in the season, and you're not always going to be able to one-up yourself from the current spot. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens with the next episode. we got a lot of episodes left, so no worry. I'm sure we're going to get some more action next episode and some episodes after as well. My name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one. Comment down below your thoughts and other things too, because I'm curious what you thought about the episode as well. Thank you.